Be intentional. Once you found out that this is the one that God has for you, now it's up to you, man or woman, to be intentional with each other. What does that mean? That means setting boundaries. Yes. That means no sex. That means getting closer to God, period, I, I, overall. That means for a man, what I've discovered is, is six months to a year, right? Within six months, he's going to propose to you or he's going to tell you his intentions he's for you. He's going to do it. He's going to tell you his intentions for Not you. Not me. <laughs> and and Not within. Us women. And God will show you within the six months to a year that this is going to be the person for you. And so from there on out, everything that we did after six months to a year was to come together because God showed me and then he showed you. Mm -hmm. And it was to build. It was to build our lives. We actually got bank accounts together before we even got married. We actually started looking to for save, a house. To save guys, not because... It's not getting twisted, you know. It was to save money because we there was a purpose. We already knew. Right. He when well, he, that's what I'm saying. We were we were intentional about right. what was to come because God had already showed us. It wasn't just we were just let's put our money together like people shacking up. Right. We were intentional because we knew we were going to be together. Right. God had already made that clear. So. And that was again we're sharing what we did and what 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 has helped us. We were speaking from a place of truly our experience and sharing our testimony. But listen. Brothers, if she's the one for you and God gave her to you, you're going to marry her within six months to a year, period. Or you're going to be planning a wedding within six months to a year. Do men know? Men know. Yes, you know. God will, if God will, if God told you, hear that, me, ladies? you will know. Ask any man that's married. Oh, yeah, I knew that would be my wife. I knew she was the one. So, and you can just meet them walking down the street or at the grocery store or at the laundromat or getting gas, but God will clearly show the man that's the one. And they'll pursue you. Yes. They'll pursue you because I know I was, even when I, when he already knew, and he also was very, this will probably be another video where we'll, we'll elaborate more because he was very cautious about like, when he didn't tell me, he knew later we found out that he was like, oh, I already knew that you were to be my wife, but I had to wait on God to show you and not move in prematurely. And I'm so grateful that he did because I wasn't ready. I, I was in a place where I was like, hey, friend, hey, you're good. You awesome. Doing? Awesome. That's awesome. I was in a place you where I was read like, the Bible. let's read the Bible. Let's be <laughs> friends. I'm OK. Hey, by the way, I'm celibate. I'm waiting on my husband. Me too. And he told me, me too. I'm waiting on my wife. I said, she's going to be blessed. When and she I was celibate. You. And he was celibate, too. But that's where we were at prior to meeting each other. It wasn't like, oh, hey, I met you. Let's be celibate. It wasn't that. So that's what we're talking about. If it happened like before, <laughs> during the time that you met, uh, kind of questionable. So you're dating somebody, communication, being transparent is key to the whole thing. Um, as far as your, your, your goals, your aspirations, uh, even as far as your, like we talked about, your money, um, your past struggles. What do you? What, was, what did you struggle with? What did I struggle with? You knew those things. I knew those things. You, I and I told you, I, stu I struggled with porn. I told her that in the beginning. I was upfront yeah. and transparent. Yeah. I told her I had five kids. I was upfront and transparent. You yes. told me. I told him I had. I didn't want to get married because I had a lot of debt. She was True upfront story. and transparent. I was like, listen. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> Girl, I got a lot of debt Them over here. Them student loans ain't no Them joke. student loans, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, I got into some credit card debt. And I was like, you know, I really think you should give me a little bit. I'm trying to pay my car off. You know what I mean? Like, because when you married, everything comes together. Everything and, comes together. you know, it really took God to speak to him and be like, that's that's not what God told me. Like, that's, and what a blessing that was. Communication part is key in a relationship because you talk about all the things that has happened to you in the past leading up to where you are in front of them today. You're very present. And so we had divorces. We had to talk about why we, why did you get divorced? What yes. was the reason? What happened in the marriage? Yes. You know, what, what, what happened in my previous relationship? What yeah, exactly. And um, we even talked about tithing. 
which was which was a big issue for us at first. Yes. Uh, talking about giving and, and being givers and stuff like that. And those are all the things you have to be transparent about. And one of the main things that we did talk about, we didn't do it, but we did talk about sex. We did. We talked about sex and the expectations and where where you were, where you know, we didn't we didn't talk in such a way we was like, hey girl. <laughs> like what were we willing you know, and not willing to do? Right. Like because we weren't virgins, like we had kids. Right. We just had did it a different way and we were trying to do it right by God, by God's standards. So we did talk about certain things. Mm -hmm. And um, leading up even to like, during the time that we were dating, going back to like a little bit on boundaries, touching up on communication, we had to communicate as far as like, hey, listen, this is, um, this is what we're gonna do and not do, you know, like it got crucial the last 90 days prior to our wedding where we really had to set serious boundaries and that meant like curfews that meant like i'm not meeting up with you after seven if yeah. i've been struggling all week not in my word as much if i've been missing you way too much and you know what i mean it just we set those boundaries because we wanted to be intentional we didn't want to be tempted to um, to, to mess up to mess up and enjoy the season yes enjoy your season yes Enjoy your dating season because once you get yes. married, everything changes. Trust me, not for the worse, but for the better because now you have a partner. But things do change because you no longer can just lay in the bed till, you know, eight o'clock and, and then get up. But if you got a household and a family, you got to get up and go to work, right? Yes. Everything changes. Vacations, everything changes. Every, every outings, everything changes. I, I always tell him, <laughs> and we always talk about how what a blessing of a season what a fun season right. we had when we were dating like we we used to talk about oh my gosh we can't wait to be married because everything will be so jolly and perfect and and it is it and is. it's great and it's the most amazing I can beautiful say, thing i don't want to keep hitting the mic but yeah it is honestly an, an amazing thing to be married to this woman to Aww. get to wake up to her every day y'all see that smile I love you. every video y'all see that smile <laughs> so but what i'm saying is that enjoy that season of dating of uh, being able to go out free and clear of of responsibilities you know together yeah you, you have you have your responsibilities but it was different when we, when we were dating it was very different know. and it was beautiful but for if you're not there yet i know it sounds like you know like when your parents tell you no you shouldn't date till then no you shouldn't we sound like parents but we being are. on the other side which we are but being on the other side trust us i i'm so encouraged by our we have a 21 year old and i told her i love the season enjoy your singleness season yes. worry about you self-love enjoy travel. your time with friends travel Do things. get out of debt yes. buy them shoes girl buy that outfit buy that clothes yes. get in budget because you know money principles are very important and certain things that i wish i would have done prior <laughs> would have helped us now in our, in our marriage even more but that's okay you know what i'm saying you're not fully whole and perfect when you meet that person because there's still a lot of compartments that you have to unpack which we've learned throughout our now going on almost five years of marriage mm -hmm. a lot of things that you will unpack and you won't know until you're married but enjoy your season and trust god on on his timing not yes. your timing i yes. know it, it can be really hard being single and waiting and like lord when is my time but if you trust God, put him first and do the things that you're supposed to do. Discover yes. your purpose, chase purpose, not just going on about your day, but chasing purpose. Absolutely. You, you, you will, you will look back and be like, wow, they, they were onto something. We yes. are so blessed to be able to share this with you guys. And hopefully something is said that, that will spark something within you. Yes. Um, be blessed, never stress, never, ever, ever settle for less like, and subscribe please and share and, and, and comment please send us some comments send us some feedback on what you like and what you didn't like y'all be blessed yee yee